It's the 42nd episode of everybody's favorite day of the week, Mailbag Monday. Let's start with this one. It says expansion board module. Why do I never remember to get my knife before I start one of these things? What have we here? That's not exactly an expansion board module, but it's a handy dandy thing. It is some two pin screw terminals. Oh, it's specifically, it's these pluggable ones. So you solder that piece onto your board and then you screw the wires on, which makes it pluggable and of course polarized. So kind of go on one way, little latching latch there to hold it, but not so much. Okay. So those are destined to be power connectors for various and sundry future projects. Handy little things. Several of the pieces of equipment at work have the, have similar things on them. And it just makes like replacing it, pulling it out to maintain it or repair it, even install it just easier. You don't have to deal with, you know, getting your screwdriver right in tight to the face of the unit to get at those screws. You can do it, you know, out here in free space where you're not, uh, you're not all confused and cramped and everything else, especially if the equipment that you're installing goes inside a cabinet or something. But even just for some random project, like a Christmas lights controller or something, just being able to plug the power in and out is really convenient. 10 pieces KF2EDGKKF-2P, two pin right angle plug in, terminal connector, 5.08 millimeter pitch from LS110-1983. This was free shipping again from China um, buck 64 Canadian or dollar 25 American. What is next? We have repair fixture. What else is in there? Dear valuable customer, leave us positive feedback, add us to your favorite sellers list, whatever. Aha! Um, this is actually a soldering helper kind of thing. It's a circuit board clamp. So when you're soldering a circuit board, well, let's, uh, okay. So here's how this thing works. If you're soldering up some circuitry, you adjust that and clamp your board into there. Just a little spring of a thing. So there, and it's holding your board solidly with the components kind of held off there. And then you can get at it with your soldering iron. So that's, uh, for some applications, that's going to be, where did my vice go? Um, why can I never find anything when I want it in a hurry? Anyway, um... So that I think in some applications is going to be more handy than using the big uh, Dremel vise that I've got or the helping hands. At least I hope so. I've seen some, some other guys on YouTube. Uh, I think David Watts is the first one that I saw using something similar to this. His is no doubt uh, a better quality one than the cheapest possible Chinese one, which is what, of course, this is because that's just how I roll. Let's see just how cheap it really was. Universal PCB circuit board holder fixture repairing tool for mobile phone. Not sure if that would be appropriate for mobile phone or not, but for soldering lots of circuit boards, it really would. From Gmall Selection, uh, I paid 503 Canadian or 383 American with oh, 89 cents shipping. Oh my goodness. That must have been the she cheapest one I could find, though. Oh, well, that clarifies everything, that description right there. Uh, 12 centimeters by 8 centimeters, not much else to say. Next in, we have expansion board module. Seems like a popular lie this week. Uh, 
Okay, it is in fact an expansion board module of some kind. It's getting closer. It has a little microphone there. It has a power in out there, alternately out there. Buckspeak version 3.5, no, Buckspeak 3.5 version 1.0. 3.5 millimeter is probably referring to the jack on it. Okie dokie. So I wonder if this is just an amplifier. Actually, it does have a little transistor on it as well. So it's providing power to power the uh, Electret condenser microphone and some little amount of amplifying there. Some resistors and a couple of capacitors back there. And that's all it really is, huh? I thought I'd give this thing a little try here. So I hooked it up to what I got 3.7 volts coming out of there. It's drawing like 3 milliamps. Pretty negligible. I've got the output hooked up to my little Scopey here and check. One, two. Check. One, two. I'm pretty much on top of it. And there is stuff happening, but. You can see there's also some nasty, nasty looking interference. Just for reference, here's what happens when I unplug the scope probe from it, okay? So that's fairly unpleasant. That is, what do I got there? Peak to peak, that's like half a volt. That's ridiculous. So here I'm just adding a capacitor to the power supply does nothing. How big is that? Uh, 2200 microfarads. Do I have anything a little bit smaller? Just right convenient here. Not super convenient. Oh well. Um, so obviously that is not going to be my new microphone for doing recordings here in the shop slash studio but it might be interesting just to go to an analog input an analog pin of an arduino and uh, use it just as a, a noise lack of noise trigger or something like that i don't know we'll see well after that dismal failure let's see what's in here A cable that I cut that open with. Another one of those thank yous. It is just an HDMI cable. Okay. Um, how can I make this interesting and exciting? It's about 16, 17 inches long. I don't know. It's red and black it's got kind of woven stuff uh, okay okay this is three in one black gold plating hdmi cable adapter hmi to micro adapter 0.5 meter to 10 meter for pc from wis tech i paid four dollars and 29 cents and it calls itself a 0.5 meter hdmi cable adapter kit and it clearly shows that there are adapters with it but none came with this one that's pretty much the cable I got except for with red ends but whatever but it didn't come with those that's annoying so basically I paid just shy of five bucks for a half meter HDMI cable let's see if we've any better luck with this one it says light bulbs that's always a fun topic. If it, another, another one with the begging for upvote like things. Interesting. Oh, okay. This is the same kind of thing that you'd find at a do dollar store. It's uh, just some of those wire mounted tiny little surface mount LEDs. Let me just zoom in here. 
mounted in a blob of epoxy or silicone or something. Here you go. So a bunch of those things on some skinny wire. Heat shrunk to that. Driven by N battery box. Is there any magic in the battery box? Oh, let's take a... Open! There we go. So is there a circuit board in there? No, it's just the wire. Okay. Let's grab some double A's then. Hopefully I've got some that have any kind of power in them at all. Ah! Okay, hey, there we go. No disasters. I got it. I'm in control here. So, the... 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 Ah, there we go. Power off. Power on. They are... They're kind of warmish white. Okay, um, if you've been watching Big Clive for a while, and you should, then you've seen these things, these kind of lights before. They're, they're kind of neat for lighting effects. You can, people stuff them into bottles and just wrap them around stuff. This isn't the exact listing that I bought it from, but this is the same guy and it's an auction. I bought it at auction originally. This is one times two meter or six and a half feet, warm white LED battery string, stripe, strip, rope glow light party Christmas deco from Renpo Deals. I paid at auction 93 cents Canadian. Um, this particular one that I'm showing you right now is uh, another auction which will be expired by the time you see this but it's currently up for auction at a dollar 13 at three bids no that's that's dollar 31. oh man cross-eyed um anyway you can uh, go from the search string if you want um is there anything else to say about this okay so here we go led light strip warm white 20 leds indoor outdoor i don't think i'd want to use it outdoor necessarily all those battery operated it might get destroyed but it's not going to explode or anything and again, there we go, not dimmable, 2 meters, 20, blah, blah, blah. As cool as this thing is, and I'm feeling a little bit ripped off this week. Several of these things didn't live up to expectations. So, off to the first in, first out mail buffer. Uh, yeah, you may have heard that Canada Post is on rotating strikes right now. Don't worry, it's not going to influence the mailbag schedule at all. What do we have here? Expansion board module. Oh, high hopes, high hopes. What do we got? Two things. Oh, okay. Two things are better than one. What is this first thing? This is voltage in and what? Is that, um, Okay, so that is, where's an actual USB thing? Okay, so that's a voltage converter from some voltage to USB. Okay, you've got an inductor there and a little switch mode chip, no doubt. Okay, I can find that one quickly enough, I think. This isn't the exact listing that I bought it from because I bought it at auction a long time ago, but it is the same seller and they're still selling it. DC converter point and a whole bunch boost step up, blah, 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 power supply, etc., etc. This particular one is 3.3 3 volt, 3.3, 3.7, 4.2, up to 5 volt boost. Okay, I was initially thinking it was a buck, but it's a boost, so you can come from oh what is that three voltage that looks very similar 3.7 4.2 that's a, a lithium ion cell isn't it uh, up to five volt boost okay cool uh from diy box did i say that already i don't know uh i got this at auction for 72 cents currently it's selling for a dollar 30 
So here is the specs on it, such as they are. Input between 2.5 and 5.5 and 5 .5 volts. Strange. Output 5 volts. Um, amp and a half typical 2 amp max. 92% efficient. Working temperature. Anything that you'd likely to be existing in without dying. The switching frequency is 1 megahertz, so it's not going to cause any noise that you're going to hear. Uh, static or quiescent power consumption, 80 microamps, very negligible. Okay, and it's got a blue LED. Oh, that's nice. Also in the same package, obviously from the same seller, we have one of these cheap little servo testers. Three modes, check servo or ESC, manual mode, neutral mode, and automatic window wiper mode. Okay. Don't know how you select those. Um, let me zoom in a little tighter here, or better. So we have 4.8 to 6 volts input here. We have servo outputs there. And speed adjust. Oh, okay, so there's the modes. Ah, select is this little button down in here. Okay, and this is just a little flexible plastic cover that's kind of glued on there. Oh, there's a little bit of foam in the back so that you don't stab through it. Okay, that's interesting. Adjustment steering gear tester CCP M3 mode ESC servo motor for RC helicopters. Or whatever, really. Uh, from DIY box, of course. Uh, $1.71 Canadian. This device can be used as a signal generator for electronic speed controller. Then you can test your motor system without a transmitter and receiver. You can connect one to three servos simultaneously and test for consistency and so on. You can connect one to three ESCs to test and compare their... Okay, I don't have any ESCs. Um, I'm not using for helicopters, da 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 15 milliamps or less at 5 volts uses 4.8 to 6 volts output signal there's the timing um, because that's what you need to control a servo motor size color blue okay let's go play with it hmm i played with this for a little while here and i can get it to work successfully with one servo connected to any of the three outputs here and so this is a manual mode I can put it into neutral which puts it, it into the center position um, basically a servo uh, if you've uh, haven't played with these a servo basically can go anywhere between 0 and 180 more or less you've got about 180 degrees of rotation and by putting it into the center position using this, you can use that to manually line up what you're installing just into a neutral center position. And then this is the, what they call windshield wiper mode. And it works with any of these servos. Um, there's a ground power and signal wire. But as soon as you attach to this particular one. I don't know if it's the problem with this one or with the design, but as soon as you attach a second one, it just seems to start resetting itself or something and slowly steps them to the end. Now it's not an issue of current. I've got this thing current limiting at about an amp and a half and it claims to only be drawing about, you know, 60, 70 milliamps in this mode right here uh, with two of them. Let me just put one of them back on there and put it into windshield wiper mode which is going to fairly consistently run it. And we're peaking with one of them at about 120-ish milliamps or so. So having two of them on there isn't going to current limit me, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I suspect there's something weird with this one. But regardless, even without that, it's handy for just being able to do that or set it to its midpoint for installing them. Now then, I ordered this thing... Uh, about it took 75 days to get here um i ordered it way back before i started doing my uh my last railroad project uh, when i did the yard controls right because i thought this being able to center it and being able to run it through its paces would be a useful thing 
But then when this thing took so long to show up, I just built this thing, which you may remember from that uh, rail yard, yard video, which does similar. It runs it through its uh, range of motion with the pot. Um, it shows me where it is between 0 and 180 degrees. So if I wanted to set it to its neutral position, 90 degrees, I could just use that pot to do it, right? So this thing isn't quite as useful. What I, the one thing that I was hoping to use it for is that mode where you, uh, where it claims you can run multiples and set and watch them go just to see if they're all one as linear as the other one. See this one, it looks like, well, where's it? So there's its middle position and there's its windshield wipering. It looks like it goes a little bit further that way from center than it does this, this way from center. What the hell? It just reset itself. Yeah, less than pressed, but for buck 75, I'm not killing myself. And this is a lot more portable than that thing on the breadboard. Although I could probably put that in a case and make it a, lot, a little bit more portable. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not too choked about this. It would have been nice if it had worked properly, but whatever. So there's today's mailbag items in all their glory and or disappointment. Um, one thing I forgot to do because I am bad at remembering this is tell you how long it took for stuff to get here. The screw terminals took a month. This uh, circuit board soldering holder took three bloody months to get here. This disappointing noisy little microphone module took 11 weeks. The HDMI cable that came without its adapters took six weeks. The LED string took a month. And this 5 volt charging from a lithium ion battery unit and the servo tester took 75 days precisely. Well, not bad. A, a mixed bag. Um, I mean, I can use that. This could be kind of fun. That'll be useful. This, I'm looking forward to using this uh, board holder in my next uh, kit build video. Stay tuned. Coming soon. This thing, yeah, it'll come in handy. Sure, running a 5 volt thing off a lithium ion battery. Absolutely. Always a useful thing. Well, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, another disappointment. I'm on call so I don't get to have a beer with this. I've got to drink coffee. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Comments, questions down below as always. Links will be down there. Um, you might have noticed last time, and I'm going to do it again this time. Um, I've got the links doubled up. There's just a normal link, and there's also an affiliate link with eBay. It doesn't cost you any more. If you use it, I get a nickel, well, a penny probably, given the cheapness of these things, kickback from eBay. If you don't want to use it, don't. Just use the normal link. It's down there, too. If you want to help me out and when, if you're buying any of this crap, um, feel free. Thanks also, as always, to my Patreon supporters who kick a buck in the tip jar now and again and help me not go bankrupt doing this for you. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later.